Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and in this short tutorial I wanted to show you a new interesting uh, workflow I just uh, tried out with Lightroom and 3D LUT Creator. I have just imported my images into this catalog and um, select a few shots I want to use. And I just did a basic uh, correction of white balance exposure and gave them a bit of uh, shadows highlights. Uh, in this step, I might uh, even use uh, less contrast if I wanted to do more uh, work in 3D LS Creator, but uh, these are quite close to what I want them to be. So I just uh, select all of these and I will export them as, a, as T files. Okay, I will select Pro Photo RGB uh, and 16 bit. But if you are doing a light grade, I guess you can get away with uh, even JPEGs in 8 bit. I have exported them and uh, now I loaded them into this one file. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I like to lay them out like this so, so I can see all of my images and how well it will fit together. Now I have loaded the image into 3D LUT Creator and I will try to just give it a bit of pop, uh, make it more contrasty. For this part I'm looking for it to be more like a technically a good image. Now I'm trying to give it just a bit more uh, pop and maybe even a bit more saturation that it needs so that later I can make another lot on top of this and give it some distinct look. Okay, I like this so far. So now I, I will compile this uh, and load as an external lot. Now I will use this as input lot. So this is before and after. Now on top of this, I want to try and play around with the uh, uh, auto match colors to reference. I have uh, quite a few frames of movies and um, TV series and stuff like that. I just sometimes like to go through them and see what works uh, with my image. It usually gives me the something that I probably wouldn't come up with myself. I just auto match colors to reference. And then what I find usually works is um, this YUV profile or lab or something like that, that is more widened. And I set it up something like, like this. Okay, I will degrade this first one a bit. Okay, now I just go to, to the frames I want. I think I know which one I want, let me see. For example, I think this one. Okay, that's interesting. Let's try another one. I think this one would be good if I just made a few adjustments. This works for me. You can, if you want to, to leave some, some parts untouched, you can always look at this hue and, and lock it in AB tab. But for this one, I think I will leave it like this. Mm -hmm. This catches the sky fine. Okay. Well, let's see now. Full screen. It's a bit too heavy on the reds now. And now I will fix it. Okay. Okay, let's I will smooth this out. When you hold Alt with 
with this grid it uh, tries to go back to to the circle it was and this smoothening works between each of the points i will go back to curves and get get some details back in the shadows okay this is before and after now i might go back to my uh input lot you go you do this by uh, swipe current and external lot just maybe reduce the saturation of this one a bit now go back to the matched one maybe all this can be lowered down a bit in saturation and i will get the hue of the sky a bit more towards the blue okay maybe I don't need this much points on this. Okay, I will copy this to shadows and just Okay, now I've got something that I like. Just maybe get my saturation back a bit. Okay. I like this one. Now I will save this as a 3D LUT and also I will save one ICC profile with the same look and I will save this display profile. Now I go back and close the Lightroom. Now I will install this ICC profile I had and load the Lightroom back again. Now I will go back to develop and press S to open my soft proofing here and I will find here the LUT that we made and installed here it is okay and this is the now it show me Lightroom is now showing me the the edited image from Lightroom with a preview of this ICC profile that we created on top of it now our ICC profile is used as a display profile so it's not applied to our image but uh, it's uh, great to to match the look of images before applying the 3D LUT on on all of them I'm using the gradient tool to darken the sky a bit locally and stuff like that and when I'm done uh, actually the ICC profile is still not applied to this image so I will export these now when I, my files from Lightroom are exported I can use uh, 3D LUT creators batch processing and export the files with 3D LUT applied or you can open each one of these and retouch them first in Photoshop or whatever you want to do and then apply the LUT. Now I have just batch processed the entire folder and now our LUT is applied to each of the images. I hope this was helpful and see you next time. Bye.